that's kind of interesting, comes up a lot, is selenium. So selenium being basically, you know, an element, a micronutrient. And, you know, you look back, and the thing that I started doing when I, was, when I wrote my book was I looked and saw how selenium could be used to actually treat cancer, how patients on immunotherapy, when they were failing, if they were given selenium, that they started responding. But the interesting thing that I noticed is that there was one real difference. It wasn't the same selenium that you buy. So you look at like this, this study here would say, well, people who have higher selenium levels had lower incidence of cancer. But then notice what it says down at the bottom. It says, however, we didn't find a protective efficacy of selenium supplementation. So people with higher selenium levels, but not actually people taking selenium supplements had lower incidence of cancer. So then you look at this form of selenium, methyl selenic acid. So I saw this, all the studies that were done indicated that methyl selenic acid was the selenium that helped reduce cancer, reduce cancer incidence. American Cancer Society did a big study starting in the late 70s, concluded in the early 90s that patients who were given methyl selenic acid had a 50% reduction in breast cancer. It's huge. If we could reduce 50%, probably other cancers as well. But why is methyl selenic acid not in the supplements? I look, you know, check all the different ones. I try to find it. Nobody has is that. Um, maybe somebody can tell me. I've, I really don't know why, but it seems like our source of selenium is, is wrong and still something that hasn't been fixed because you can't really get it. But something to be aware of, of course, you know, having Selenium, mainly making sure you're not deficient in selenium is probably hugely important. So that's one thing to consider. The other, vitamin D. <clears throat> well, you know, there's lots of people with low vitamin D levels. Vitamin D, we know that if patients are low in vitamin D, their cancer treatments are not as effective, their immune response is not as good. You know, those are things that seem simple, but I just bring them out because a lot of people are not aware. And so, you know, this is something, again, we're looking at what type of things can you do that are simple that can reduce your risk of getting cancer. And so, you know, vitamin D supplementation certainly is right there on the list.